Cause I don't think y'all seen it at first, but do you see that cheekbone? Anyway. What's good, T-Tribe? Tiana T, yeah, that's me, and I'm back at it again with another review. So, before I begin, yes, I did go ahead and do my eyebrows because this takes time and I needed a mirror and I didn't want to be like looking away, away from the camera and not focusing on you guys because yeah, it looks bad. But anyway, the first portion of this video is going to be me unboxing. So I'm not going to be in the same clothes or in the same hair as I was before because I did the review before and I actually didn't use these brushes to their full potential and I wanted to make sure I gave my honest and pure review because that's what you came for. You came for honesty and the first time I used them I was like these aren't these brushes aren't all that but then as I took the time to get to know the brushes and see how I could work with them I was like these brushes are freaking amazing so I needed to go ahead and redo that but also I wanted to keep the unboxing because you know came with good content go to waste so put it back up in here so that's what you're gonna see and yeah, so let's go ahead and begin. This is the BH Cosmetics Sculpt and Blend 10 piece brush set. So I got this versus the regular one because first of all, it took me a long time to figure out which one I wanted, but I was like, when I put on makeup or brushes, what am I really putting on it for to contour? So I got the Sculpt and Blend brush set, you know? The box did not come like this, disclaimer. The box did not come like this, like I said, I meant to do this tutorial like a long time ago and I've been moving back and forth and all that good stuff, but uh, here we are, getting into it. So first and foremost, I'm going to show you that it comes with 10 brushes like I said, but it also comes with these little silicone, oh, carbon deodorizer things. We had two in the box, so keep it all nice and fresh for you. They do come wrapped. They do come wrapped in plastic and it looks nice. I'm gonna start with this one. So it says a 114 brush, but on the box, it'll tell you what's on there. So the 114 is an angle blending face brush. So anyway, this is what it looks like. I'm gonna take it out of the package. Anyway, so first things first, I don't know if y'all can see that, but it has a little flyaway, a little random, no worries. Anyway, let's talk about how it feels. Okay, so one of the main comments I saw was like, ooh, these brushes are so dense, they're so beautiful, they're so great. Um, my foundation brush is the um, Real Techniques brush, the little um, foundation brush, and that one's more dense. This one, it feels like e.l.f. Maybe it feels like something that you can get in Marshalls or a TJ Maxx, like that little brush set. So it's not as dense as I would like it. Because I'm trying to blend this out. This is going to be all in my face. This is like, look. Anyway, it's soft though. So pretty much I'm going to go through and see how they all feel. I want you to see again. These all have a lot of flyaways. So that's not good. That's not a good sign. But we'll keep it going because these brushes did not cost that much. And that brush with a 116 and 116 is a flat bend, flat blending face brush. Okay, instead of like just going by like the big brushes, I'm gonna go like down the row. Um, starting from the top, we have a 113. It's called a round blending face brush. So this is my 113, the round blending face brush. You know, this one, same density, same. I would say it's like a medium density. It's not something that's like super dense, something that's like high quality that lasts a long time. This is definitely like lower quality, but we'll see how they work. They all have a little bit of flyaways, as you can see. Oop, I'm gonna let that focus for a second. Fly away right there on top of my head. That's a 113. Now 114 is supposed to be the angled blending face brush. So it's angled for sure, but Couple flyaways. Next is supposed to be the 115 tapered contour face brush. This is the 115, it's definitely tapered. No flyaways in this one. 
this is nice quality. This might this might be their best brush so far. Next, supposed to be 116. It's like a flat blending face brush. A couple flat ways. Next, supposed to have a 117. The 117. Guys, would you believe that I don't have a 117 in this bag? So that's the typo. That's something I should have complained about, but I haven't. So, ooh, this is not look good so far. But anyway, instead of getting a 117, which is supposed to be the angled contouring face brush, I got two number 116s, which is the flat blending face brush. So I got two of these flat face brushes that's something i'm gonna to have to reach out to the company and ask them like you know hey i didn't get a 117 got it on camera because y'all seen it with me anyway continuing on i have to make one little quick tiny note so i noticed that all these little flat brushes right here they all feel different like if you can see they'll have like a slight texture if you will. Now, this tapered one is like more like actual hairs. It doesn't have texture and it actually feels really good and sleek. I don't know why they feel different, but they do. Just want to point that out. But anyway, no 117, but 118 is supposed to be the small tapered contour face brush. So I just had my order. Okay, 118, small contouring face press. We're going to zoom in on that one. Let y'all see that. Yeah. No flyaways for real. That's good. So now we're going to go with the 119. 119, small angled blending face brush. Flyaways as usual. 120. Flat, small flat blending face brush. That's this guy right here. Not too many flat ways to where it's gonna be a problem. Nothing, yeah. Like a little paint brush. 121, small angled contouring face brush. Definitely angled. A little bit of fly ways. And last but not least, we have a small round blending face brush it's definitely smaller it's definitely rounder definitely has flat ways like it's family but anyway let's go ahead and get started into this tutorial so let's see how they work they got flat ways i'm not pleased about that they don't have every single brush they promised is going to have not happy about that but we'll see how they work because if they work nice you know i got my money's worth First and foremost, yes, eyebrows are already done. We discussed that and my face is already primed. So we can go ahead and get into it. Oh, I do have some stuff on my lips. I do have this thing called Six O Miracle Maximum Hydration Lip Emollient. So that's what I have on right now. So that's what I have on right now. Got from Use Wild Store. Shit's amazing. That's why I had to mention it. But um, let's get into this video. I'm gonna go ahead and start with the foundation. And the reason I didn't blend, the reason I didn't blend the uh, concealer in is because I like to let the foundation go ahead and help me blend it in so it's not as light. And we will be starting with the Fenty Beauty freaking Pro Filter Foundation Soft Matte in 430. So. I actually do have 440, except here's the problem. Here's the thing. My face is the darkest thing on my body. As you can see, if you can see a little bit, my chest is very, very light, and my arms are even lighter, but on the back side, it's light as well. And you see my face and my hands? We gonna try to match that because if they have a dark face and lighter body, and people are like, damn, your foundation don't match, but really it do, but it don't. So anyway. I got the lighter um, foundation to try to help me out a little bit. So I'm actually not even gonna go in with the 
I'm not using BH Cosmetics um, brushes for the foundation, so I am going to use my Real Techniques. I love this brush. It's like a nice buffing brush. I had for years, and I still prefer to use it. So that's what we're gonna do. So I just get all that in here. As you can see, look, it's gonna match my chest when I'm done. But that 440, look, gonna cut it. Was not gonna get it. Only problem with this is when you lose a use a lighter foundation, you gotta make sure you get every crevice. And with my 440, I didn't have to do that. I used to just do mainly my um, T zone because that's where most makeup come on anyway. But here, I gotta make sure I get all thinner so I use more pumps. Eventually, when my skin get all back to. So, I'm sorry y'all, unfortunately my camera died. My brand new camera I brought and I was working with and died in 30 minutes. Can't believe it. But anyway, back into the video. So, I went ahead and blended this out. I'm gonna add a little bit more though. Make sure my neck matches and all. Get every little side crevice. And then, you know, of course, get close to the eyebrows because I wanted to blend that out. After I blend it in with the brush, I like to go ahead with the um, beauty blender. Make sure it's all the way in there. And honestly, it was easier to look up when I had my camera, so I do apologize if I'm not looking directly into the camera all the time. But you guys came for a review and we gonna get this review going. So, like I said before, I like to add, like lead a concealer out so it can blend with the foundation and not be as bright. I get as close as I can with the beauty blender. Make sure I get every little piece, every little crevice, because again, we gotta match this foundation. And all the dark areas in my face, my entire face is the dark area, so. So, I will be taking my BH Cosmetic brush in 122, as y'all can see, 122. Anyway, I take that, go under my eyes, blend that thing on out. If you are wondering what I use for my eyebrows, I did use my Anastasia Beverly Hills. See the name? I use it in Ebony. Use that ebony. So yeah. Typically, I don't like using ebony. I only use ebony because I was like, well, the dark brown, the last time I had it, which was years ago, it was like pretty ashy on my face and I just feel like it didn't match as well. But since I got dark hair and a lot of it, it kind of really goes well. I'm kind of glad I didn't return it like I planned to. But anyway, I use this just to get all up in there. And this brush is really good for that. And I wasn't using these brushes the first tutorial I did. Like, this brush is really good. Like, it's not too soft. It gets in there perfectly. Like, I don't know why I thought all brushes need to be like this, this, but it's like a perfect this city, this, this. You know what I'm trying to say. Anyway, blend it to perfection. It looks really good. And my eyebrows ain't never looked as good in my life, so keep this in rotation, okay? Anyway, next. We finna go in with my NARS. We got that. Wait a minute, wait, wait a minute. I'm gonna do a little bit more blending in around my face because it needs it, so. Make sure I get that. Blend it all the way down the neck. Cause you want your neck to match. You want your under chin to match in case you wanna look up or be like, oh, what is that? And somebody be all be a, a grill looking like, oh shit, that don't match. 
She has like two different skin tones. She ain't catfishing. Don't get catfish. Get to the hairline too. Cause when you take your pictures, when that flash hit and you didn't hit all the way up there, you gonna look retarded. Now it's time for concealer. We going in with the NARS, Armand, or Amande. The girl in Sephora told me it's Amande, but I thought it was Armand, so either way. This is the Amand. Oops. The Amand Medium Dark. So let's get it. I got this one because it's matte and I love the consistency. I love like a thicker pastel like consistency. I don't like that liquid, like the creaminess that the regular um, NARS would have. It makes my face a little bit more oily quicker. This is A1 and it's what I use for my eyebrows. So I would not be taking the BH Cosmetics Express for that because as you know, I got the scope and contour and that is not how you apply it on. So I'm just gonna take this brush I got from, a little pack I got from Ross. So anyway, we are going to, I like to go here. Cause once upon a time in December, when I was getting sick a lot, when I was blowing my nose too much, I had like a little dark rash and I wanted to cover it up. But ever since I did makeup like that, I've been looking flawless. So now I'm gonna make up over this area cause I just want to be, you know, a baddie. This is next. We're gonna blend it on out. So my face is blended, but because as you can see, I got little creases under my eyes. I do like to take another beauty blender, which I forgot to dampen for this video. So I'll take care of that real quick. So I do like to take this itty bitty blender. I got this from Amazon in a pack. I actually got these two together, I believe. I will link that below. I'm gonna take this little mini one. And I think they're real personal of them crevices. So next, I'll be taking Again, Fenty Beauty, this little matchstick. Get it focus. And freaking espresso. So let's get it. So from this point, I go straight up in the cheekbone. So as you can see, I naturally have a line. I naturally have like a nice divine cheekbone. I just follow my natural cheekbone, but in the event that you don't have one, put it where you want it. So Like you never, never stop. Then, of course, we gotta hit that nose. I don't do this part the same way every time. This is like a nice light uh, application. If I need more, I add more, but for now, I start light, and then I just add it as I go, cause again, you don't want too much to where you can't take it off. When you got too little, you can add just a little smidge more, and look, it makes sense. So anyway, add a little bit more here, cause I want that to find, I want that snatch, I want to, I want to know I got cheekbones. Not just be like, oh yeah, I might see it. I want you to see it, see it. So anyway, next, I take the BH Cosmetic brush, in 116, that's just a little flat top brush, as you can see. So yeah, I just take that and I start from my cheeks and I go right on up. Cheekbone. Cause I don't think y'all seen it at first, but you see that cheekbone? Anyway. That cheekbone though, cause at first, you know, y'all might have seen it. It was a little bit there, but now y'all see it. See, you like, Naomi Campbell, model. Ooh. Anyway, keep it going. Don't 
let's talk about the Disney real quick because first I was like, oh, it's not dense enough. Cause like my Real Techniques brush is like real dense. And I thought every brush needs to be like that. Especially when I'm like contouring and trying to school my face. But this is not that dense. Like literally I can move it. It's like a perfect density. If I had it way more denser, I'll wipe all my makeup off. This is like the perfect density. It's just like, it's like a nice little feather. It just goes right on. Keeps all my makeup intact. It don't like it all black. I have to have longevity when it comes to my products, okay? Next, we're doing the forehead. Get all into the hairline, okay? important part because you ain't did your makeup if you ain't snatched your nose so how we gonna snatch this nose we gonna snatch it with this beige cosmetic brush in new metal 120 as you can see i use the little flat top brush i use a little flat top brush still intact i've used this like at least 10 times but you see that good condition so, go ahead and just go on up, all up in there. And I like to bring it out. Like, I want you to see, from, see it from the side, see it from the front, upwards, I want you to see everything, okay? So I bring that out. Down and out. And I have to get all the way up into the eyebrow because you need to see it snatched. Like, what sense does it make to have a snatched nose down here, but up here it's just like a regular nose, a nose you have before? Like, what's the purpose? Ain't no purpose. Again, the density is perfection. Like, if it was too dense, this thing would be like, all my makeup will be gone. Once again, it'll get soaked up, and then I'll be like rubbing, like, dang, why? Why is it gone? Like, dang, I rubbed it in too hard. And nope, makes no sense. It's like perfect. It was better, it was light. It was beautiful. Is my nose snatched to y'all? I don't think it's snatched enough. But I really don't feel like my face is bright enough. My mind is a little too natural for me today, so. I will go on top with a little bit brighter concealer, the LA Pro Girl and Fawn. So yeah, let's add a little bit more. And I can go too far down with it because I just put my contour on and my contour is perfect. Honestly, I don't like going back in with my beauty blender to like blend out some more concealer. I'm gonna take my BH Cosmetic Brush in 119. As you can see with this top, I'm gonna take right through my nose. Cause again, yeah, I'm not good at using beauty blender on like reapplying concealer. I messed up the whole contour and gotta add more product. And you trying to reserve our products? Yeah. And plus brushes, you get that airbrush look. You look for that airbrush, which I'm gonna snatch up. I'm sorry. Get to these cheap bones though, like that. So just to be snatch snatch, I should be using this gun in my eyes too. creases and really it's not even about the makeup it's all about K 
hair into my creases. Like, cause I don't, really don't need makeup because again, honestly, like some nice contour to redefine my cheeks and nice little brightness up in here. But I did it, but yeah. When I want to play a full face, but I want to be like, snatch at the play, dang, you look different today because uh, full beat, duh. Anyway, from this point, I'm gonna add a little bit more of this, a little snatch snatch. And I only apply so much of this because I don't have a powder contour. I know a lot of people like to do a little powder contour, like a little bronzer. I haven't found the perfect one, so I did try the Black Radiance one. It was too dark, had me looking this weird. Uh-uh. So, we don't have that right now. But, taking this brush again. Once again, the 120. Once again, the 120. Oh, you don't wanna focus right now. Let's focus on the brush top. It's the flat top in this box. To the eyebrows and on down. Down and out. Cause you gotta perfect the shadow. Like my shadow here is bomb. Gotta make sure my nose shadow too. So from this point, makeup is done. Let's go ahead and set this thing up. So before, in my video that's not gonna be released because it was it didn't do these brushes no justice but uh this brush the save the whole package is a one anyway before i get into the brush i like to actually mix my powders i want to try a laura mercier but for right now because i ain't got that we're gonna mix it up and do work what we got so i take this mac it is mineral foundation loose foundation, whatever. I don't, it's in the color dark. If I use that, my face really ain't gonna get bright, but it's gonna be nice and a little sleek and everything, it's not gonna be bright enough. So I did take this Black Radiance setting powder in True Complexion, True Complexion loose setting powder. I don't know what color this is, but I call it banana because it's like banana setting powder. So I'm gonna take this Holy Grail brush, the best brush up in this set, the 115. And as you see right there, you see that right there? This is that hair brush I was talking about. See it's how it's hair? It ain't what them other fibers are. The other fibers, let me get y'all like a little bit closer. Them other fibers have like little grooves. This is like hair. This is A1. So anyway, take this, I'm gonna dip it here in this light one. So I'm dipping this light one. Get it all nice and good. You know you gotta, so it's not too much. And I mix it in. I'll mix it in with this one. Just a little bit, you know. Then we're going up into them creases first. And I'm gonna roll y'all typically. I like to just go ahead and take a top and put some in there. Oh, it's a lot. Take some of this banana. I like the banana more than the dark one because again, I ain't highlight for no reason. I mean, I didn't, um, I didn't break my face for no reason. I ain't put no um, concealer on just to put it on. I want you to see it. So I want to brighten up my face. I just want to add a little more to the banana. So here I took the top. 
and right there as you can see oh my god that's so bright as you can see i mix it in the top right there and i take my holy grail brush just grab me some and then boom we sitting We sit in every area that we want to bring out. And it just gets all in the areas I need it to so easily. And don't overdo it. You know, if I was using... If I was using this piece that it came with, my setting would look blotchy and terrible and just like, I'm a, a novice. Even though I am, I don't want to look like I am. This is just trash. If I use the uh, beauty blender, it's just, I don't know, it just builds up too much. This is so perfect. It just feels so good. I just, ooh, I just love this brush. And then this little tip piece. It gets under my upper eyebrows too, because I got concealer there, and that that be getting oily too. So I don't know why that part gets oily. It's not my T zone, but I just take this and go up in there too. So want longevity out here, okay? And. Make sure I got every piece that needed it. Again, we going over them creases twice. And I do like to go under my contour. Take like a beauty blender. You ain't got to take a beauty blender. You got a perfect brush that holds the product well. As if I needed any more definition for these cheekbones, I don't. But look, if I want you to see them, you gonna see them when I add the uh, concealer. I'm gonna add the powder under here. If CD was a person. So, they don't bake nowadays. I do. Skin oily as hell, so we don't bake. Also, if you didn't know, we cuss in this channel. But, I'm gonna go ahead and do my eyes. I don't do nothing spectacular at all. I like just going with my my NYX Ultimate Palette, Ultimate Edit Palette. Oh, I'm so disappointed. I was not supposed to be using my camera today, but or my phone today, but I had to. Those are the eyes. Nothing shocking. yet. It's like, oh, she looks jazzy today. She looks better. That's all we wanted. And honestly, to get the powder off, I go with my 114 brush. Like, let's just see the top of that. I should go in with this one just to get it off. And it has like a nice shape and it just goes perfectly with my cheekbones. Because we care so much about cheekbones. So, cheekbones still intact. And the under powder I put, I'm still trying to get that off. So, typically, I just keep going until I'm satisfied with how it looks, pretty much. I should put these earrings on after, but I want to still. YouTube and then next the gram. I care about my creases so if my creases weren't so taken care of in the beginning I would have used this brush right here the 118 and as you can see it has that nice that nice sleekness it's like hair as the one I use for my powder and 
typically I'll do the same for my inner eyes. I would have dipped it into like a little powder solution I got and then boom, went under the eyes. But I'm trying to use this to get, get the, um, make sure it was all up in there and get it off. Flatten out, like make sure I pull it out of the crevice and make sure I get powder up in there. Fill it in. I'm looking peachy keen. So from this point, mascara time. Here, taking this man eater by Tarte. I wouldn't even bought this, but I got it for Christmas. So, you know, I think it's either Ulta or Sephora. They give you like free stuff for your birthday. So it's like, oh man eater. Phenomenal. I will never not have a rotation. So I'm gonna do my um, mascara. So now we do the bottom lash, nothing extravagant, just enough to show. Just enough to like add a little bit more oomph to my face because I do not have any eyeliner and that eyeliner would be just fine, but I'm gonna add a little, little mascara right there. Boom, we got a whole full face. Okay, next, but not last, I am going to, you know, set my face. So. Got some set. This is not the Urban Decay All Nighter. It once was, but I used it up because I love it so much. What it actually is, is my MAC Matte Fix It Spray. This is what it was in, but my thing, as you can see, it don't even squirt. Let me turn it. It don't even squirt well. It just comes out like, just ugh, just terrible. So, because this is a great bottle, and it was doing its job. It just ran out of product. I just poured that on up here, and yeah, we got MAC matte setting spray. I don't even like the matte fix it plus spray. I really hate it, but because it got a little, little bit of that all night up in here, it's tolerable, so you anyway, must shake it up. You must shake it up. If you don't shake it up, your makeup will be patchy. I remember I went to, it was like last year, I went to orientation for my job, thinking I looked so good. Yeah, I look like I was sick. Like I just had makeup on last night. Woke up and said, "Oh yeah, I'm here." I look terrible, look patchy, look like a novice, legit. So anyway, mm, it feels so good. If I was going out, this is like an everyday look, I would say. Like if I was just going to like a mall or something, I would do a face like this. If I was going out at night, I definitely would uh, make sure my contour on is looking more deeper defined. I definitely would get the actual all nighter because I'm going out at night I'm gonna use all night spray. So anyway, and also I would do some like liner and like some underliner just because you know like time look, you wanna look your best. I think that's good. So, I had this for a while. <laughs> it's actually broken up. Anyway, this is MAC. I think it's like skin finish. I don't know what color it's in. I've had it for so long, like you can't read the words. So, MAC skin finish. Just go find a, a, a MAC rep. And be like, hey, I need some um, bronzer. I need some um, highlight. It's like, oh, I got you. Here you go. This is what happened to me. Anyway, I take this brush which is not a beige cosmetic brush. It's a brush that came in a Ross brush set. Don't know what it was. Can't even find it again, but any brush that you get from Ross, it's the same one, essentially. So anyway, pat, pat it out. And then, you know, I like it on my cheeks, like high up here. So that's why I kind of like to be, I like to bring it, I can't even see, bring it out a little bit. I like to bring it up too. Like, I'm gonna look like a queen, I'm gonna look bronzy. Like, what's the whole purpose of putting on bronze? Slash like, highlight, if nobody can see it. I'm gonna look like a little glowy fish. I only said fish because it was that one fish on, I think. I don't know what it was. It's not Ice Age, but that, that fish, that, that badass fish. 
I don't know, her face is be snatched. I like to have it all the way up there so you look, oh yeah. You fine. And I like to go here. Go up here. I just wanna glow, you know? And I, pluck, I do all this anyway because that MAC, MAC Fix Plus, oh, I need to say that better. But that MAC setting spray from MAC is too MAC. It takes away all your oils, all your natural oil, the natural glow that your makeup gave you. It's gone, so I like to add a little bit more in. So if I had the all nighter, I typically wouldn't go this harsh. But yeah. So do that. Then also, I like to take a brush from that same raw set. This is just what it looks like. See, look, it doesn't have a name, it just says Define Concealer. First of all, what you gonna define? Hey, we're gonna find some silver with this fluffy brush. No, this is for highlight. So anyway, I can take it here. I can take it on the bridge of the nose. Very light. So this is it. Now, as far as how I feel about the DH Cosmetic brushes, I do feel like they are necessary. If you're a beginner in makeup or you just don't want to spend much money on brushes, like literally, DH Cosmetics is enough. And I got the Sculpt and Contour Kit, but if I got the other kit, I'm just as satisfied, but definitely, I do think it's worth the money, which is not a lot of money. Any brush that gets your, your face done and it costs like one fourth of what like them high end brands cost. Why not get it? So anyway, love them. Um, like I told you, my favorite brushes are the ones that feel like hair and not the ones that, let me get another close up. Again, flyaways, like in the beginning, y'all see that? How it got grooves? That hair one had no grooves. But besides the hair one, that like that, you know, I use for powder. I do like this one a lot. That's the one that be getting in, you know, that nice little contour. For these cheekbones, yeah, that's my favorite one. And I will buy another set. These are a staple for me. And it's not so much a pack because honestly, I don't use a lot of makeup. A lot of people be like, oh, I go on with this, I go on with that. All this stuff fits all in one little, little baggie that you get from like Walmart for like $8. Perfect brushes. I don't use all of them. And I could use all of them because as you've seen from the beginning of the video, I did have two of the same brushes and I'm actually glad I got two of my favorite brushes so worked out in my favor so anyway um I hope you like the review I hope you like my face and I hope you hit the subscribe button and I will see you on another video